Hi, my name is Ed Van Curren. I'm an Associate Professor of Physics at Georgetown University, and I'm the Director of Undergraduate Studies here as well. Uh, I'm teaching the Introductory Electricity and Magnetism course for our freshman uh, physics majors, and recently I had a chance to ask them about what motivated them to become a physics major. So Lindsay, what motivated you to major in physics? So physics actually was the most challenging course I ever took in high school. And by most challenging, I mean hardest by far, intellectually, um, time consuming, but also the most rewarding. I enjoyed getting to learn physics. I enjoyed being stumped by a problem and finally getting to figure it out. So that's why I decided to major in physics. That feeling that at the end of the day, when you finally figure something out, it's worth it, more worth it than any other subject I've ever studied. I liked physics in high school and it just seemed like it was very applicable and just like to understand how things happen. My grandfather had majored in physics at TCU and MIT, he went to both. And so he was a strong influence. Like we used to talk at breakfast about different stuff and he used to talk about like making a magnet and stuff like that. And I was, so I finally decided to like give it a shot. And so far it's, it's been really, really interesting. Um, so I took AP Physics in high school and I think uh, I knew I wanted to do some type of science major um, and that was the one that kind of appealed to me the most. When I came to Georgetown, I remember very specifically there was a lecture where we talked about EM waves and that was the first time that I kind of saw like this elegance in like natural order and from then on I was, you know, if I had any doubts at that point I definitely was like I'll stick with it, see what happens. And then uh, first semester sophomore year, I took 153, and that's when I really knew I was hooked. I was on a camp out the summer before I came to Georgetown, and I was sitting out like under the stars. It was about like three o'clock in the morning. I had like woken up because I had to go to the bathroom, and I was just sitting there. And it was a clear sky, and there's just all these stars because it's out in Texas, so you don't have much light light pollution out there. And it was just millions of stars. And I was just wondering, you know, how could you, you know, make like stars like your job? And physics is the way to go and it's, I just thought it was so cool. Well, um, I was one of those kids who grew up with a Hubble poster on her wall. Um, kind of nerdy, I know, but my dad was always really into science and he was a big fan of just kind of public TV and in my town there was this one complete science channel. I absolutely loved it. It was way over my head, but I remember one night my dad was like, Lindsay, let's watch this. It was about string theory. I was a seventh grader. I had no idea what that meant. But my dad's like, you can understand this someday if you study physics. So that's what got me interested in physics in high school. And then after that, I decided to major in it.